Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Rex, Daniel, Whiskey, Blantons. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> By popular request, this is the official Happy Friday, everyone. The official whiskey of Monopoly. Yeah, <laughs> they got the little pieces on top. One guy's the little dog. One guy's the thimble. One guy's the horse. So uh, the ZX horse. Excalibur XZ. I get the feeling that there were a lot of Excalibur uh, profile names in YouTube. <laughs> uh, Nunman One, uh, Pelican Full, and Nate Black Flag all requested Blantons. Okay. This is for you guys. I've now, never I had like this. Blanton's. I've never had it. Okay. I would remember having so, something. Here's the cool thing about Blanton's. So weird. According to them, they're the first single cask bourbon, right? And they date back to the 1800s. Yeah. So the guy who did this is Colonel Albert B. Blanton. Mm -hmm. And they used to be aging whiskeys, and he had this warehouse called Warehouse H. And um, he, would, he, saw, he thought the sweet spot for their whiskey was this middle sec, one little section of Warehouse H that the barrels just always turned out to be the best whiskey in the whole warehouse. Hmm. And so he would take those middle barrels and set them aside and bottle them privately for his enjoyment and for guests, special guests and ambassadors and famous people. Right. Right. And so if you were able to get a single barrel Blanton's, it's because you were a, an important person. And all the riffraff got all the dregs. All the other stuff. The yeah. dregs left over. Yeah. And so they continued that tradition by, they still, Use Warehouse H, and they still pick the best from now, that section. Same warehouse, or is it yep. just a building called Warehouse? No, I, I well, actually, I don't know the answer to that question. We could call this Warehouse H. Yeah, let's do it. Yes. Welcome yeah. to Warehouse. Welcome to Warehouse H. <laughs> All of our whiskey is in the sweet spot. <laughs> yes. Now, here's the cool thing about while well, I pour you some Blanton's bourbon. Mm -hmm. Here's the cool thing, and by the way, this is there's a whole bunch of editions of Blanton's. They all have different tops, all right, so and it's a collector's here's item. Here's what's happening. The fact that I let you go this long without pouring the whiskey. That's because you care. No, it's because I am actually excited about this. I've heard of Blanton's, and it's uh, supposed to be... Now, this is... Legendary and special. Whiskey dumped on uh, June 2nd of 2015. That means it lives up to the hype, or I'm about to be very... Stored disappointed. in Warehouse H on Rick number 6. From barrel number 308. That's the best barrel. Yep, 93 proof, so 46.5% alcohol. Mm -hmm. Definitely bourbon, but it's not it's not sharp, pointed sweetness I'm getting. It's a more rounded off sweetness. Yeah, it's a very kind of vanilla-y honey. Mm -hmm. that, that's very stereotypical bourbon corn yeah. heavy. This is not a weird bourbon right now. It, does, it smells like it's going to be smoother. Oh, that's pretty. It's really pretty. Hmm. This, for me, here's the thing. It's sweet. This, for me, for me, I like other bourbons better than this. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm, I feel like I would be stoned to death. I know. <laughs> I'm, Sorry, tasting this. I'm, I'm tasting this. And it's not bad at all. Don't get me wrong. But for something to live up to legendary status, it's always, eh, it's a handicap going in. It's good to a tasting for me. I'm there's, gonna pour you certain, another bourbon. There's a certain level of height that I feel like it needs to, a height threshold yeah. it needs to overcome. And for me, this is just really nice. You know the cool thing about Blanton? But Colonel I've, Blanton? I've had much nicer bourbons. <laughs> I'm gonna pour you one. Okay. You know, uh, Colonel Blanton started at the distillery when he was 16 as a stock boy. Yeah. And, and then became president in 1921. How's that for working your way up? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna pour you a bourbon. Do it. That I think. Yes. Beats Blanton's. Okay. No. I'm not going to tell anybody what it is until after I pour it. Okay. I'm getting less sweetness on the taste than I was expecting based on the smell. Um, and I'm getting a little bit more of a sour note. Some of that vanilla and uh, caramel is creeping through. Uh, it's a, a shade or two less than what I was hoping for. But it's still really nice, man. I wouldn't turn my nose up if somebody offered me to pour, offered to pour me a legendary whiskey. Okay, I think either of these two yeah. I like better than Blanton's. One of them is budget, and one of them is not, but not freakishly expensive. So this is the budget? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm already getting uh, much more lively vanilla mm -hmm. on the nose there. The budget, I like... This is going to be horrible for me to say. I like it as much. Yeah. In a different way. And the budget is Henry McKenna 10. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't like it better. I like it as much, and I like it... It's a different bourbon. It's different. Definitely. Yeah, I agree. On par. Strangely enough. Yeah. That's Elmer T. Lee. Yeah. Of the three, this is... The clear winner. Elmer T. Lee really stands out. It does. 
How, and you said, how much was the budget, the Henry McKenna, Elmer, um, Elmer, Elmer T. Lee? What was Elmer it? T. Lee is also a single barrel. Okay. And I don't know. It's not cheap. Probably in the 40 to 50 range. Okay. Not bad. I'm and totally then, guessing. And then, but McKenna's under 30. Here's the thing about... You can get McKenna for 27, uh, 27 bucks. People are always asking, uh, what is the price of the various whiskeys? Can you talk about how much the whiskey costs you? The thing is... The, a price of a whiskey is going to vary wildly. What, yeah, state taxes change everything, country taxes change everything. Right, we were doing, um, what was the... Uh, Monkey shoulder. Sheep, no, no, we were doing oh, sheep, sheep dip. We are yeah. doing sheep dip. Somebody found it for six bucks. Another person watching the channel was like, like... $55. Right, cl uh, uh, close to 60 bucks. Yeah, it's insane. Sheep. Where we see it, it's usually about 25 Yeah, we have a whiskey here that my uh, friend was going to buy in California. It's right. nine bucks more expensive in California. So, anytime yeah. you name a price, you're going to have to take it with a grain of salt. It's what we can find around here. Yeah, that's why I'm not gone out of my way to try to put prices on everything, because it's just... It's, if anything, it's almost insulting. Yeah. It's like, you got that for only $30? You assholes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got any comments to drink our bourbon with? Sure, man. It is Friday. Um, by the way, how much was the blend? Because I know this is a, this is a sought after bourbon. Uh, this one, I think, cost me about 50 bucks. Okay, no bad. Yeah. It's just a very historied, yeah. legendary. Now, I think uh, this after this Friday, I'm, uh, sometime over this next weekend, I'm going to switch the channel. The Whiskey Vault. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it over the weekend and hope we don't screw everything up. Yeah, so channel name, be looking for in the near future, Whiskey Vault, not Wizard Academy. Yeah. Um, Pew Heretic, well, if anyone wondered about the purpose or applicability of this video. Oh, but the video he's talking about is where I sit for an hour drinking whiskey without saying anything. <laughs> no. Which I shot as a joke and I'll explain to you in a second. Know that I ran out of whiskey twice while watching it. <laughs> so I'm obviously screwing something up. Yeah. But thank God, I'm going to watch it over and over until I get it right. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the true story behind this video. Yeah. True story. For like three months, I told Rex, Hey, I want to shoot this video where we'll, all I do... We'll link the video at the top of the screen. Yeah. I, I, I want to shoot this video where all I do is sit and drink whiskey. And I don't say anything, I just drink whiskey. Mm. And, and we go for it forever and, what, and what let did, people watch it with us. What inspired you? No, 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 no. That's the thing. I just thought of it. Oh. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then for three months, I was like, we need to do this. And Rex was like, nah, that's dumb. And I'm like, no, no, I want to do it. And then one day I got sent a link from a friend. He said, uh, hey, guess what Nick Offerman just did? Check this out. And he sends it to me. And Nick Offerman, two weeks before, released a video where he sat in a fireplace chair and drank Lagavulin 16 right. for 45 minutes without speaking. And he released it for the holidays, and I went, oh man, now when I shoot it, everyone's going to think I'm ripping off Nick Offerman. So if you watch my video, what you'll see is in the first whiskey I drink, I reference Nick Offerman's video. Fine. By saying that's not Lagavulin. Here's the only thing I have to say about that. All of you should drop to your knees and thank God that I'm in charge of the new channel. <laughs> <laughs> because my idea of fun was an hour long video let's where all make, I do is drink whiskey. Let's make you stare at me. For an hour. <laughs> and I don't say anything. I just like, hey, it's in Daniel's world, this is amazing. This is brilliant. <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm all about subtle comedy. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it falls flat. Yeah. And you're not it's, funny. It sometimes does. <laughs> Okay, uh... You know, you want to know, uh, you want to you hear a great dad joke? No! No! Yeah. No! There's no such thing! Why, why can't There's you... no such thing as a great dad joke! Why can't you hear... Son of a... Why can't... Son of a... <laughs> why can't... <laughs> if, I, if, if we keep getting cork squeaked out, you yeah. can't get through it. That's true. I can't stop laughing. Why can't you hear a... <laughs> Why can't you hear the pterodactyl going to the bathroom? <laughs> because the pee is silent. <laughs> I lost Rex. That was such a great joke. You don't even know. You don't understand comedy, Rex. <laughs> Are you sorry? <laughs> Am I sorry? I am not sorry. I'm going home! <laughs> I'm going to have to do the outro all by myself. <laughs> Alright, fine. Where's, oh, I get to drink Rex, Rex's fancy bourbon now. <laughs> oh, he heard that! <laughs>
Until tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side illegal. May you return to watch me eventually make this shot. It's gonna happen. Oh! Ah! Cheers. Cheers. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.